Welcome to Mars or Bust. I'm Spaceman Dave. And welcome to Episode 10. Ways to Simulate Gravity on Starship Missions to Mars. Please hit like and subscribe. It lets myself and YouTube know you're enjoying these videos. One of my past videos just touched on artificial gravity and it seemed to get a lot of response. So in this video we're going to go into a little more depth on the different concepts for artificial gravity. There are some very smart people that have some really good ideas on how to produce artificial gravity in space. Some of them are feasible with today's technology and others not so much. In this video I'm going to go over some of the ideas that I've personally seen. Comment if you know of or heard of any other ideas that might be feasible. This is just my opinion, but I think we need to find a way to do this. If we're going to become a multi-planetary species like Mr. Musk would like us to be. I think this is something that's kind of necessary. Centrifugal artificial gravity or rotational simulated gravity to date is the only type of simulated gravity that can be produced with today's technology. In this video, I'm going to focus on this type. First, these are the things that happen in weightlessness to the human body when gravity is not available. Scott Kelly is the U.S. astronaut that was at the International Space Station for slightly less than one year. 340 days to be exact. He lived through his own personal hell after coming back from the space station. He had to suffer through swelling of the extremities and rashes all over his body including loss of muscle mass and other problems. All of this just due to the lack of gravity. So what ideas have been suggested for rotational gravity on a spacecraft? One of the concepts currently being looked at is Von Braun's station. This concept is being seriously considered by the Gateway Foundation. According to their website, the station could be built today. They already have many of the engineering difficulties figured out. Their videos go into much greater detail. I'll put a link to the site in the description below. The only problem with this is it's a station, it's not a spacecraft. Not that some of the same ideas couldn't be built into a spacecraft. They have to get one built first for proof of concept. If this could be realized, it would definitely lead the way to other future concepts and possibly even the idea being implemented into ships that would travel from planet to planet be the equivalent of going on a space cruise. Now who wouldn't want to do that? Personally I think it'd blow Carnival Cruise Lines out of the water. No pun intended, but who knows, maybe they'll have their own space cruise too. Here's one the University of Colorado at Boulder is working on. Personally I think this looks like a medieval torture device. Basically they increase the spin rate until you're forced down toward your feet at 1G. From what I hear, it does work, but it takes some getting used to. It may be a temporary solution before we find something better. This is a concept by NASA called the Turbo Lift. That's an original name, right? In this concept, an astronaut would accelerate at 1G for one second, and then flip over and do it the opposite direction again. In my opinion, this one looks about as much fun as the medieval torture device. I guess they could always be used for discipline purposes. Just kidding. This is the cabling or tethering system. With this concept there are two starships, one on each end of the cable. Starships are rotationally spun and this provides simulated gravity to the floor of the ship or toward the bottom of the craft. I've heard it said that there would be too much stress on the cable itself. If this is the case, you could actually reduce your spin rate, reduce the gravity equivalent to a lower amount. We're going to Mars. Mars gravity is only 38% that of Earth. You could spin the ship based on Mars gravity, and by the time you got there, you could be acclimated to it. Here's a similar idea. This uses a rigid structure to connect two starships. This will produce the centrifugal gravity toward the outer hull of the ship. Now here's another idea that I saw. Rather than using a cabling system or a completely separate structure, why couldn't we take a super heavy, or maybe even two, and place it between two starships? 
Then rotate the entire structure. It would serve two purposes. It would give the strength to hold everything together. In addition, the Super Heavy could either carry additional fuel or supplies. I'm not sure that the Super Heavy would be quite long enough. Now here's another idea. You take two or four starships and mount them on a large wheel. Then spin the whole structure. The problem with this is basically it's a similar thing to Von Braun Station. And you have to have a very large wheel to accomplish this correctly. But the idea is possible. So do you have an idea on how to produce artificial gravity? Well, here's what you can do. There's a website called SpinCalc. You can go there, enter your numbers, and see if your idea is feasible. And it tells you whether you can produce the necessary force for the numbers you are considering. I'll also add a link to this down in the description. Other people have also said that because a trip to Mars is only six to nine months, we don't need gravity as astronauts spend more time on the space station than that. The problem with that is the people that will be going to Mars will be expected to do something when they get there and not spend another three months recuperating. These are all photos of rotational space station concepts produced by Blue Origin. This is what Jeff Bezos wants to produce in the future. If he's serious about this and he puts the money that he has available into it, I think it's very possible. More power to him if he can accomplish this. Good luck, Jeff. I mean that. As always, thank you to all my patrons. All your help means so much to me. Thank you. And you too can become a patron today for as little as one dollar.